Hello everyone. So today's video is a really exciting video. Unfortunately, I am very sick, which is probably why my voice is a bit more like nasally than usual. Anyways, besides that, today's video is collaboration with Upcrate. So Upcrate makes monthly curated art supply boxes. They make sure to select like high quality brands and stuff um, for their art supplies. And they include everything that you need to make an artwork from like the original sketch to the final piece. They also include some really cool merchandise. So like stickers and prints and those stickers and prints are made by a monthly artist that just like collaborates with them. Um, and my information story. <laughs> okay, one second. Anyways, as I was saying, so in addition to the cool merchandise they include, they also provide a magazine with like artist interviews and a guide to all the art supplies that they give you. Hello, so this is me from the future and I just forgot to mention something really important here. Upcrate very kindly provided us with a discount code. <laughs> The discount code is coffeebean15, very cute. <laughs> and if you'd like to get 50% off your order, feel free to use it. And um, yeah, I also included a link to their website in the description. It's not an affiliate link, so I don't get any money out of it. And yeah, that's about it. That's, that's what I forgot to say. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Anyways, enough about that. Let's open this box. I'm super excited. This is my first time ever having an art box. Um, I've seen several artists here on YouTube open art box like this and I always felt like so jealous <laughs> but also just like so happy for them because it looks super fun. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to try this out. Okay, let's open this nicely. Okay, this box this box has seen things. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, this is the real box. Cause the other one was kinda ugly, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so Upcrate told me that they were gonna send me their sketchbook version of their art box, which is really nice of them. I'm worried that there's gonna be a sketchbook in here and I just bought myself a new sketchbook. But yeah, anyways, these stickers are adorable. And then there's like more little ones here. Kind of odd, <laughs> but cute. And then even more stickers. Like this is an insane amount of stickers. So I think it's from here. Cast off, loosen the lines. Um, you are getting closer. Thank you for having you on board. What's it say here? Mate. <laughs> Europeans. Okay, now to open this. Oh my God, packaging is so cute. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to salvage the sticker. At least I don't think so. Okay. Brush markers. Oh wait, no. Yeah, fine liner brush pens. That's cool. I've never heard of this brand before. So six colors and the colors look really nice. Uh, I think there's a yellow there. And then we got, this is huge. We got a Graphmaster acrylic paint marker. So chunky and I love the color. Oh, okay, more yellow acrylic paint markers. Amsterdam, I've heard of that brand. And then another one, another one. This one here. These two colors are really similar. Um, maybe one of them's lighter than the other. Actually, wait, no, one of them's kind of green, one of them's kind of blue. Okay, I'll put those here. Pencils, colored pencils. 
Uh, oh, these are... Okay, wait. Okay, no, no. I thought they were like polychromos or something. No, no, it's uh, polycolor. The green isn't quite my shade of green, but it's also not the shade of green that I hate, so that's good. Okay, so that's that. And then we have... Oh yeah, this is the magazine. Yeah, this is really inspiring to look at. There's so many ideas in here. Like, I was actually just thinking to myself, oh my god, what am I gonna do? This is like, really good ideas here. Okay, so next, there's like a third one of these. <laughs> and then, ooh, the print. This is a really nice print. And the artist is jillo.beans. Yeah, if you want to go check her Instagram, it's right there. I'll definitely be checking it out because her art looks really cool. Okay, and the last item is, uh, just as I feared, it's a sketchbook. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a mixed media sketchbook. I don't know, I really want to work in my sketchbook with these new art supplies. But I guess it's like it would, wouldn't do harm to like test out the paper here. Yeah, overall, this is a really cute box. I love the supplies. I've been dying to try like paint markers properly because I only ever use my white Posco one because I can't afford much more. But yeah, I'll have fun experimenting with these, I feel. Okay, so I just finished reading through the magazine and it was really inspiring. Uh, I have a completely different idea on what I'm gonna do in this video than I did last week. Um, like last video, I think I said I would do Legend of Zelda fan art or a character design. But right now I feel like just like going on Pinterest, picking random images and doing some like studies, semi-realistic studies, just like doodling a bunch of stuff. Um, partially inspired by this and also just because I kind of miss doing that. I did that a lot last summer and it was really fun. So kind of want to go back to that. Anyways start off for any of that exciting stuff i'm going to be swatching all of these i think i think i'll just like start with these fine liner pens fine liner and brush fine liner and brush pens okay yeah i think it's just a really fine color uh oh okay now it's darkening it's a really nice color i like it Yeah, I definitely enjoy the brush side better. Um, it's almost like a highlighter. Okay, so those are all the colors. They look really nice together. I kind of just like the warm colors. Um, that's just me. Now I'm gonna try the paint markers. Um, I think I need, yeah, I definitely need to shake these. And then you just press them down like crazy. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting blue. Oh wow, these are really good. It's so thick and pigmented. Yeah, I think these are gonna be really fun to like, color with. Anyways, I'll do the rest of the colors in time-lapse. Okay, this is my new favorite thing. This is so cool. It like, it's so juicy, it's full of paint. Um, and yeah, it was so easy to like fill that space out. Kinda wanna get more colors from this. Anyways, gonna try out these. Um, I'll try one not on time-lapse. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it this way so I don't like smudge that. <laughs> Okay, they're actually really vibrant and they don't crack like Prismacolors. Like that was sharpened super well and it didn't, it didn't crack or anything. Yeah, these four together look super cool. That's a really cool color scheme. 
Yeah, this blue color is definitely not my thing. <laughs> I'm so judgmental when it comes to colors. Like I feel like if I just opened my mind a bit, I would find some new color schemes. It's so weird to me that like people see colors differently. Like people, some people would see this blue and think like, oh my God, that's such a pretty color. It's like wild to me. Anyways, um, <laughs> some people hate orange. Lots of people hate orange. Lots of people hate green, like lots of people. Anyways, those are the colored pencils. Very nice. Um, gonna have fun with these for sure. Today I'm feeling a lot better. Well, a lot worse, but like kind of better because I had coffee. So what I'm gonna do is on this page, I'm just gonna let it out. I'm just gonna experiment, make something super ugly. If it turns out good, that's good. But if it turns out ugly, that's even better because I have a bunch of scrap paper. That's that's my scrap paper. That's my Nintendo Switch box that I'm too emotional to throw out. <laughs> Anyways, all that scrap paper would be lovely to just scrapbook onto that page. Uh, I like scrapbooking. I like having pages where it's just like a mix of pa different paper types and all that. So experimenting page if it turns out i'll be really happy if it doesn't i don't care uh and then this page here i'll hopefully have like ideas running through my mind and yeah i'm gonna stop worrying i'm gonna stop panicking i'm panicking i'm i'm honestly panicking i'm gonna drink some water i have water for once someone told me to drink water you know who you are maybe um someone told me to drink water on instagram and i actually listened i made myself like a huge cup of water that's wild. Okay, so here's the start of the actual drawing portion of the video. I hesitated quite a lot at the start here, but I also hesitated a lot less than I thought I would. Uh, like I got started pretty quick. Uh, I just went with like, I think the 30th thing that I found on Pinterest. Uh, usually it takes like a hundred things to find something to draw, but yeah, I just picked this uh, reference photo. It was of like this girl and the lighting was really cool, which is the main reason I picked it. Now my version of this reference photo, like my uh, interpretation of it, I guess, turned out a lot different. Uh, anatomy is something I still need to practice a bit, but also I was purposely stylizing it because I wasn't really in the mood for like a hyper-realistic portrait, to be honest. So like the eyelashes are really exaggerated. The mouth shape ended up being like a lot different. And um, yeah, I made the eyebrows a little bit more messy and natural looking, kind of. No offense to the <laughs> original model or anything. Overall though, I'm honestly really happy with how this portrait turned out. All right, so I'm done the sketch. And unfortunately, I did not mess up, which means <laughs> um, no scrapbooking over this. Uh, now is the scary part, but it shouldn't be scary because I should be excited to mess up. Um, anyways, scary part, which is coloring. I have the violent urge to just fill the whole thing up with this color <sighs> with no regard for lighting. So I'm gonna try and tame that urge a little bit and think about the colors. Uh, that's what the space down here is for. I'll just do a little bit of swatching. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I sketched for most of this video with the red color race pencil. And that was actually like, I feel it gave a really nice tint to everything because a lot of the art supplies are like water soluble. So they blended in really nicely with the red uh, color race. Um, but yeah, here's when I start coloring and the nose especially was just like really fun to color. Uh, I really enjoyed these art supplies. I feel like Upcrate made a wonderful selection for this box. Everything works so smoothly and nicely with each other. The color scheme is gorgeous. I had no idea how good the color scheme actually was until I started like using all the colors. I even used that blue that I called ugly before for the colored pencils. <laughs> it worked really nicely with the green and the red for shadows. And um, yeah, honestly, I feel like they really knew what they were doing. And I should practice like 
limiting my like color selection when I do artworks like this or sketchbook spreads because the limited color palette and just like the the set supplies that they picked for me it just really helped bring the spread together I feel like a lot of times I overdo it and I just reach for every single art supply on my shelf and it gets super messy and like honestly just annoying <laughs> so yeah this was a great experience all right so the hair kind of grew on me it grew on her too <laughs> yeah I, I paused I paused the time lapse to make that joke um I'm gonna blame it on COVID so anyways <laughs> point is i think i'm done i'm not gonna overwork it because this is at great risk of being overworked one second okay uh, uh okay one second one second this is at great risk of being overworked and destroyed i actually almost destroyed this eye here in fact i think i did one second <coughs> let me add some white There we go. Okay, that actually looks really cool. Okay. Anyways, I love how this portrait turned out. It's like my favorite thing uh, in the sketchbook. <laughs> I haven't done realistic-ish portraits like this in a really long time and I missed it. It was so fun. Definitely not realistic, semi-realistic, but yet, yeah, oh my God, I had a blast. Uh, I'm not gonna touch it any more than I have, but using using this yellow Posca marker, acrylic marker, was so fun on the skin here to lighten it up again. I'm surprised by how well this worked. I won't ramble for too long because I probably rambled throughout the time lapse. But yeah, now to figure out how to fill the rest of this page. I'm gonna go with the same mentality that like if it messes up. If it, if it gets messed up, it's not a big deal. I'll just paste something on top of it. I don't know if I'm gonna fill in this, these two pages. Again, it depends how complicated what goes in this page is. Um, if it's anything near as time consuming as this was, actually, was this time consuming? No, I don't think it was. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm getting, it's too much. All right, bye. All right, so over here, I put this random paper that I had on hand and I forgot to mention for the portrait cause it kind of went by super fast. Um, I really liked the fine lighter brush pens that they provided. Honestly, that was like the biggest plot twist I feel. Uh, those are the supplies that I thought I would actually like the least cause I have a really bad experience with fine liner brush pen sort of things, but those were like, so useful they went so well with all the other art supplies they did tear at the paper a little bit but it wasn't anything like too dramatic um but yeah here i did some ramen noodles another random pinterest thing and then i just drew a random duck um but i exaggerated the colors like crazy i just went on google and looked for a cute white duck because pinterest kept giving me like cooked duck recipe sort of things it's kind of creepy but the duck was a good opportunity to use a lot more blue um yeah it's honestly such a cool color theme uh i don't know i just wasn't expecting all the colors to blend in so nicely together especially like the colored pencils but it was like very seamless almost um so yeah <laughs> Another thing I wanted to mention while I was like drawing this whole thing is that the colored pencils are nice, but they're not incredible. Uh, they're pretty pigmented, but at the same time, they don't blend as nice as I wanted them to. So in the portrait, for example, I had to make things really like uh, abstract looking. I don't know if that's the right art term. I just throw art terms all over the place, but it was pretty blocky is what I'm trying to say. The colors didn't like seamlessly blend. They blended a little bit, but you had to press super hard or go super soft on top of each other. But it, it, it got some really cool textures, I have to admit. It's a nice break from Prismacolors, which just blend a little too well sometimes. So yeah, I wouldn't highly recommend them, but they're also not something I hate. 
As you can see here, I'm writing the words, I'm sick. Um, <laughs> I love it when artists like include random words in their spreads, but I literally had no idea what to write. So I just wrote the first thing that came to mind. Also here, I'm doing a checkerboard pattern in the background. I was inspired by the magazine. Some of the artists did that checkerboard pattern. Uh, I shaped mine a little differently, um, but yeah, I was just, I was really inspired. The magazine is actually underrated. Like I really enjoyed that. Also here, I accidentally wrote open crate. I have no idea where open crate came from. It's up crate. It's literally written everywhere. Also like uh, on screen at the moment, you're seeing me put this random sticker. Uh, I know my brain's going everywhere. This video is kind of unorganized, but it's okay. <laughs> I just used that export Germany sticker to cover up some of the swatches that I didn't feel were like aesthetically pleasing enough. Um, <laughs> it's really fake, but hey, it's, it's my sketchbook. I can make it as fake as I want. Anyways, I left the typo there because I thought it was really embarrassing, kind of on brand. I'm blaming it all on COVID obviously. But yeah, that's about it. Over here, I'm just finishing this final sketch. Uh, I really like how this girl with the skateboard turned out. I think it's like really cool. And I got to make the green stand out a lot more on the sketchbook page. I also mixed the red and uh, blue together to make those gray tones, which was really fun. Honestly, this was just like one big color experiment and I'm really happy <laughs> with how it turned out. Okay, so I tried fixing the eyebrows a bit because they were a bit, they were a bit too much. I always overdo eyebrows. Um, it just didn't make sense perspective wise. I love thick eyebrows, but yeah, I, I think I like it a little bit more right now. It's not perfect. Like it's really smudgy, but from a distance, it looks nice. It looks almost on purpose. Also, I used the blue Posca pen for like the first time this whole actually wait I think it was this one yeah for the first time I used the blue one uh made her eyes a little glowy and yeah I think I'm done with this spread kind of want to put a star here but I also want to leave it empty so I'm leaving it empty for now so over here, I'm just spraying the pages of my sketchbook with my varnish spray. Um, last time I got a lot of questions asking for what brand I use and it's Krylon Low Odor um, Gloss Spray. Uh, I would not recommend it. And um, yeah, that's why I'm not including it in my description box where I put most of my tools. It's just not that great uh, as you'll see later on. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to take this as an opportunity for just some like final thoughts, I guess. I really enjoyed this open crate box. Up crate. Oh my God, I called it open crate. <laughs> okay, I really enjoyed this up crate box. I think it's really nice. The selection of tools is amazing. It made me experiment with something new, which I was kind of hesitant about at the beginning of the video. And it honestly taught me a couple lessons like uh, I want to experiment more with color themes and I also want to start limiting how many supplies I use. Uh, just like challenge myself a little bit to make do with smaller amounts and variety of like art supplies. Okay, so if you look closely after varnishing, there's these like black spots littered all over it, which I hate. Like I'm actually really sad right now. Um, also, it makes the ink on this thing fade, which is why I tried avoiding it, but it, yeah, it got to it. It's honestly so weird, but if you guys have any better uh, varnish suggestions, uh, please let me know in the comments. I'm in serious need of a new varnish spray because this one's just not it. <laughs> I still really like it. like kind of barely noticeable if you look at it from the right angle without too much lighting yeah like it looks perfectly fine from that angle but it's kind of annoying <laughs> all right so I think that's about it for this week's video I was going to do a second spread but this was really time-consuming and this video honestly should have been up like 
yesterday. So I'm just leaving it at these two pages. I'm really happy with how they turned out. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was a nice return to like semi-realism and like just random Pinterest spreads. So yeah, I'd like to thank Upcrate again for making my dream come true. I've always wanted to do like art videos with mystery art supply boxes and this was honestly so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to use all the art supplies equally, as you could probably tell. So like this one here, I barely used it at all on the page, but it did give a nice like shine to the orange here. I wanted to use this more because it's really fun and big, but uh, yeah, maybe another time I'll fill an entire spread up with this orange marker and then do some sketches on top because that would be really fun. Also, I didn't use all the colors equally either. So like these paint markers were really fun to use, but I mainly used the yellow and the pink. These two blues, uh, <laughs> as you can see by the color scheme here, I didn't really use them as much, but yeah, I'm surprised I didn't bring in any extra art supplies. Like I just used the art supplies provided and it was more than enough. Anyways, if you'd like to get uh, an open crate art box uh, like this one over here or a different one, uh, feel free to use the coupon code coffeebean15 <laughs> for 15% off your order. The link to Upcrate is in my description box, but it's not an affiliate link, just there for easy access. Um, so yeah, that's that's all. That's, that's all I had to say for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. <laughs> I'm so cringe. Okay, I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be out later than this one. This one was made like pretty quick for my standards. Uh, I think my last video was just one week ago, one week and one day ago. But next video is gonna probably take a little longer. So like two to two and a half weeks because it's a pretty long video, I think. So, See you guys in two weeks, two to two and a half weeks-ish. Bye.